Dr. Rico here. This is a lecture from my course, Math Foundations of Engineering Analysis. The syllabus link is in the description. Hello, and welcome to a lecture on nonlinear state space models, uh, continuing the chapter of uh, lectures that we're doing on nonlinear analysis. So, uh, this lecture is called Nonlinear State Space Models, and we're going to use this as the primary uh, form of system representation for nonlinear systems. So, the system representation um, is called a state space model, and it has the general form dx, where x is the state vector dt, where t is time, so the time rate of change of the state vector is equal to some function, a vector valued function f, of the state vector, the input vector, and time. Okay, So this is the state equation, and this is the output equation, uh, 1b, and it is also a vector valued function of, of vectors x, the state vector again, the input vector u, and time. Okay, so a general form of a nonlinear state space model takes on this, this form here. Nonlinear state space models are those for which f is a nonlinear, I know it's shocking, nonlinear functional of either x or u. A functional is a function of functions, so a functional um, of x or u, where x and u are technically vector valued functions themselves. For instance, a state variable x1, a scalar state variable, might appear as x1 squared, or two state variables might combine as x1 times x2, a product, or an input u might enter the equations as the logarithm of, of u1. So this uh, uh, is sort of a, an array of examples of things that might happen that would cause your state space model to be nonlinear. Autonomous and non-autonomous systems. An autonomous system is one for which f is a function of x with neither time nor input appearing explicitly. Notice we don't have u in here and we don't have time, which we did have up here when we looked at the general form. Okay, so uh, when time and the input don't appear explicitly, we have what's called an autonomous system. A non-autonomous system is one for which either t or u, or both, do appear explicitly in f. It turns out that we can always write non-autonomous systems as autonomous by substituting in u of t and introducing an extra state variable for t. So that's one way to convert a non-autonomous system into an autonomous system. Therefore, without loss of generality, we will focus on ways of analyzing autonomous systems. Okay, So we can always convert a non-autonomous system into an autonomous system. So we'll, we'll go ahead and just work with autonomous systems for the most part. Equilibrium. An equilibrium state, also called a stationary point, so you'll see both of these terminologies, x bar is one for which the time rate of change of x is the zero vector. In most cases, this occurs only when the input u is a constant, call it u bar, and for time varying systems at any given time, t bar. For autonomous systems, 
equilibrium occurs when the following holds. That is f of x bar equals the zero vector. Call that equation two. This is a system of nonlinear algebraic equations, which can be challenging to solve for x bar, which would be our stationary point. However, frequently several solutions, that is equilibrium states, do exist. So that's a little introduction to the nonlinear state space model, uh, some of its properties having autonomous and non-autonomous systems, um, and finding equilibrium or stationary points for these nonlinear state space models. So thanks for tuning in to this uh, lecture on nonlinear state space models. Uh, in the next lecture, we'll talk about uh, nonlinear um, system characteristics. So tune in then. See you later.